All right, everyone. Welcome to Ruka Plays Random Games that no one is probably going to watch because <laughs> this is, I don't know, visual novels. Visual novels never, no one's ever heard about. Uh, but I do like trying these random games once in a while. So here we are. Here we are. Do note that this will be the commentary version of the video if you want the non-commentary version. There will be a separate video for that. So without further ado, I'm going to get started here. <coughs> nice loading screen. Looks like we are doing a pixelated version, uh, pixelated style for this game. Sorry, missed your call. Yeah, no problem. 27 on the buzzer. Let's see, is there any other button I can press? <laughs> Just enough time to clean up. AD or arrow keys to move, E to interact. Gotcha. AD. Case files, what do we got here? Insurance frauds, lost cars, estranged lovers. Should probably get rid of some of these old case files. Use mouse to drag and drop items. Some items can be picked up. E to pick up. Um, anything else I can pick up? Dangly feet. Doesn't seem like I can pick anything else up here. Okay. Insurance fraud. I can't. I can't do anything else. <laughs> See doors over there. Can't do anything there. A living room. Is there anything else here? Very limited, it seems. All right, let's go. Media set. This damn thing stopped working a long time ago. Gotta hit Frankie up next time in Fussdale. And when I have cash. So, never. I do like the bed set up. Though it is in the living room. The bed is right above the coffee and everything else. Bathroom is right there. Holy crap. I would not live in this place. Notes on the fridge. Call mom, buy soap, pay bills, don't die. Sounds simple enough. Photochemicals. Leaving developers in the kitchen is a sure road to poisoning. Or a great soup. Window. Let's see. Hard to get tired of this view. It's not a bad view if you like this kind of city view. Plus, the foliage on the window is pretty nice, too. I'll wash these later. Probably not. <laughs> Do wash your dishes, though. It's probably not a good thing to leave them around. Let's see what we got here. Apes. I could use a quick smoke outside. Apes. <laughs> is that their um, slang for God, I guess? Toilet books and living room. Let me see what we got. Toilet books. The Great Apes. The Great Story. Swell toilet read. Elliot Graham said it best. In lighting account on the last beacon of civilization and its masterful architects. Essential. Among many great stories, the great story stands out as the gripping yet edifying tale of our tenacious leaders and their crusade to usher in an era of prosperity for the city and its citizens. Um, okay. Can I get out? So toilet, living room, so that's a toilet, but why is the bath in the kitchen? So the toilet is a separate place, but the bath is in the kitchen. Oh, what's this one? Place chemicals. Everything knows its proper place. <laughs> well, 
I must be Miss Green. Odette, excuse me, I'm looking for a detective loader. We spoke on the phone. Gather you have a case for me, Miss Green. Okay, so I got choices. At your service, or... You were vague before, so tell me everything, Miss Green. Hmm. How do I want to approach this lady? She looks, seems a bit nervous. I guess we'll... Let's, let's ease her in. Let's ease her in. We'll pick the second one. Oh, um, truth be told, my back's killing me. Pregnancies put real pressure on the spine. And please, Odette is fine. Your first kid? Got it. How can I help you today? Didn't say much when we spoke before. Okay, well, I'm not going to get into her family life too much. We're he just here uh, for a case, so... We go here. I understand this sort of thing is routine in your line of work. It's about my husband, you see. Is missing? I'm listening. He's a cheater, ain't he? <laughs> We're, okay, let's not jump to conclusions just yet. Um, let's see what she has to say first. Let's see what she has to say first. He just hasn't been himself lately. Getting home at odd hours, making weird excuses. You suspect he's cheating on you? You try to talk to him about it? I guess the conversation would naturally go with cheating, but, hmm. Let me see, though. Let me see. I think so, but I need real proof, right? Go to the court. To go to the court. Court. Are you filing for a divorce? Tell me about the affair. I'll get you the proof, Odette. I need his picture and some information about his routine. Mmm, should we actually take this job right away? Let's ask about the divorce thing. That's right, and above all, I need something damning enough that custody won't even be a question. Your husband will want the kids? Final details then. I'll need a picture and information about his routine. Yeah, we don't want to get too deep into this. Just a job, just a job. Sure, what do you need to know? Where can I find him usually? What does he look like? Uh, have you met any of his friends? What's his full name? How would I pick him up out of a crowd? Um, I guess what he would look like would be something we want to know first. Here's a photo. He's an otter, of course. A little stockier than you. He wears glasses, square ones. And his wedding band, as far as I know. Oh, and he carries a black briefcase to and from work. Where can I find him usually? Usually at work or at home, he never used to stop anywhere. Now it's all the time. So he acts out of character. Coming back to the case details. Or he acts out of character. Sight that that. He was always a private kind of man. Now he started getting home late, missing work and smelling funny. What kind of smell. What are they we talking about? Alright, what kind of smell are we talking about? That could be important. Like perfume, and not mine. Alcohol and smoke, and something poignant. A kind of herbal stink. Herbal stink. Mmm. Let's see. How late are we talking about? Way past the kid's dinner time. I asked what he was doing. It didn't go well. Hold up. Has it been aggressive? I can't see how that's pretty, Mr. Loader. Uh, personal details can make or break a case. Fine, let's talk final details. Mm, I don't see how this would help you take a photo of my husband. Okay. Okay, I may have messed. I may have screwed up something here. Okay, let's go with this. Crap, I think I messed up. <laughs> I'm going to ask you important case details. Please be specific. Sure, what do you need to know? Uh, what's his full name? Let's start with that. Kind of need to need that. Jeremy Green. I think people at work on jazz. We met him with his friends. 
No, but he's mentioned a few guys. Says they get a lot. They get together after work sometimes. How would I pick him out of a crowd? He wears a suit to work. Picked out his green tie and hat for him today. Where does he work? At Wolf Bank on Granville. I'll write that address down for you. That should be enough. There's just a matter of my fee. I can give you a hundred now and fifty when you're done. Will that suffice? Yes, plus any unexpected expenses. It's not just my life riding on this. I can only afford one shot. What assurance can you give me that you're the right guy for the job? To be honest, I can't. All I can do is my best. I care about my clients. Your problems are my problems. It's a matter of trust, Odette. Do you trust me? Hmm. It's a tough one. Hmm. All right. So let's see. It's a matter of trust. Let's say it's a matter of trust. No, but I have no choice. My life is on the line. I'll get right on it. Call you later tonight. Goodbye, Odette. Sec. New objective. Tap to see the detective menu. <clears throat> Let's see, inventory. We have a picture of Jeremy Green here. Doesn't really strike you like a sleazy skirt chaser. Doesn't seem handsome enough. Maybe he's funny. Find Jeremy Green in evidence of infidelity. Works at Wolf Bank on Granville. Good place to start. Completed, tidy up before the client <laughs> arrives. Uh, notes of self. Um, remind you to call mom. Not difficult to remember, just difficult to stop procrastinating. Mia says bricked again. Gotcha. Or dead green. Let's try. Where's that? T there we go. All right. I guess we'll go out to Granville. We go. I do like that loading screen. Oh wow! So there's a mix of pixel sprites. Uh, pixel art and um, some kind of new stuff. Granville smells like white concrete, overpriced fast food, and puke. My kind of battleground. Squirrel, that's awfully big for a squirrel. Yo, old man, take a look at this photo. Have you seen this guy around? How's it going, fella? I guess we don't care about the, the guy itself. Nah, man. Even if I had, why would I tell you? Well, see ya. Furman and Sons. Furman, one slick silver-tongued devil of a mountain lion. When I go crazy and kill someone, I hope I can afford him. So it's a hitman. Let's see what these posters look like. Pretty nice. I wish I could get a close-up on them. <laughs> Citizen Maine. Nice. The day I bought a bike, the life of a young handsome ape turns to shambles when he crosses paths with a dangerous man. And he does it on his bike. <laughs> Johnny and John don't drive. Two retired taxi drivers meet next to their childhood home. And Johnny doesn't know what that John is dying. Interesting. Natalie, beaver man. <laughs> hey, if it isn't Mr. Howie, what's a rascal like you doing out this fine evening? Hey, Anatoly, I'm looking for someone. You got a minute? My beaver, how are Stella and the kid? Got business on Granville. See you later, Anatoly. Let's see. Uh, hmm. Well, let's say, let's let's say hi. Let's say hi. Both doing just fine. Essie and I are good. Great. We even have a second, tad, uh, a second lad due soon. 
Oh, I got a great story for you. Another? Wow, you guys are lucky. Too, too many if you ask me. Wow, you guys are lucky. Thanks, it's a big one too. As he's around, is round as a watermelon, right? So I tell her, ha, woman, you get any bigger and I won't fit you in the trunk of a car. <laughs> Great, can you answer a couple of my questions? Huh, funny. I think that's kind of mean. Nah, let's, let's just, let's just ask them. <coughs> Ah, we ease up. What's so important you can't let a friend tell a story? I'm looking for a guide. Here's a photo. See him recently? <laughs> I don't know, Howie. I see so many faces. I know those scrawny swords like flashing their cash at the bite, though. Have you seen them there? I I look like the kind of guy to be in there. As he'd have my balls. Anyway, Howie. You're scaring off my clients, you know? Alright, thanks, Natalie. See you around. Good guy, it seems. Let me see if I can get any more info from him. Well, see ya. See ya, too. The Vogue. They did a great job restoring the Vogue. If people watched more movies, maybe the world wouldn't be so bad. The day I bought a bike. Citizen Maine. Johnny and John don't drive. The great story shown every day at 11 a.m. and 5.10. Seems like there's an outdoor um, restaurant too. What's this one? Eden Simons, Eden Simmons is the rising star. See her tonight, only at the bite. Neat. Shall I check this out once I'm done with the case? Yeah, I mean, that'd be a bad idea. Nice, interesting scene, though. A lot of stuff going on. Banker. Oh, Wolfman. Yeah. How are you doing this pleasant evening? You folks work at the bank with Wolfman, right? Let's see. <coughs> yeah, why? Take a look at this photo. Have you seen this man recently? The fuck? Jess? What's going on? Asshole owes me money. I've been looking for him everywhere. Private Detective Howard Loader. When was the last time you saw him? Answer the question. I guess we better state our business. We're not a thug, so let's go and state our business. P.I. What did the asshat do? Nothing. I just want to talk to him. Could you answer my question? Well, it wouldn't be nothing if we wanted to talk to him, so... Let's go and say... Could you answer my question? I don't give a fuck about your questions, and I sure as hell don't talk to cops. Get lost. I'm not a cop. P.I. stands for Private Investigator. Hey, Germ, don't get excited. Or are you looking for trouble? Are you? Because I could give it to you. Listen, Lumpy, better split before I wash your face. Righto? Cruising for a bruising, brother? <laughs> Cut the gas, asswipe. What say you boys? Should we give this one a good beating, eh? You're one hit, Cap. Got the guts to face me without your boys? Yeah, I don't think so. Peace. No, we, we ain't gonna peace out. We're gonna fight. Better get ready, jerk. I'm about to give you a fucking ticket to a cross... To across the wall. To across the wall. That is an odd phrasing. Yeah? Aren't your claws manicured? <laughs> You're not worth it. Come on, boys. This stripper will find us in soon enough. That's what I thought. I'll bark. <laughs> Let's see. Grilled fish, shrooms, and veggies. Uh, it kind of makes sense. They won't eat other animals. Hmm, might not quite fit in this fancy crowd. Thankfully, I'm a charming boy. <coughs> quite the fancy place this is. Bouncer. No entrance for raccoons. Goodbye. Perhaps a couple of loons would change your mind. My friend Carlos is waiting inside. Go ask him. I'm sure we can arrange something, big boy. What do you need? Get me a personal invitation signed by the Great Apes and I'll let you in. Deal? Uh, sure. Who's the Great Apes? Hold shift to run. I don't think we really need to run. Interesting, but I don't think we need to run. Let's see. I want to check the alley. Shoot. That downy right there in the police booth. He'll eat my brains if he sees me. 
What police booth? Ah, I see, I see. Fourteen ninety nine for a trim? What madman would pay for something they could do at home with a pair of scissors? Well, they gotta eat, I suppose. Ooh, rough area. Hey, Larry, what's up? Howard? Well, I'll be damned. Is that you? Larry? It's me. It's been too long. What's going on, old man? <laughs> you call, who are you calling old man, you rascal? Same old, can't complain. What's going on with you? I'm happy for you. My own gig kind of went downhill a while back. I expect to see you here. But you live here now? Sort of here. Have you seen an other guy around here recently? What do you do? Awful things to his pregnant wife. Can't tell client confidentiality. Nothing serious, just messed up his marriage. Eh, like they do. What's he like? Tall, wears a purple hat? About my height, chubby, wears a green hat. Here's a photo. Here's a photo. <laughs> Haven't seen him. Sorry. Let me know if you need anything. I'm here often and hear people talk. Got a lead, but the bouncer won't let me into the bite. Think I know where to look. Uh, let's see. We need help. The, we need help the bounce, bouncer out. Tough break. Really, it's really more of a cat and dog crowd in there. You said you guys an otter. That's weird. Any ideas I could get in? We can't get a good disguise. Maybe it was a handsome cat. <laughs> let's see ideas. What you could do is ask Johnny. He'd know better than me. Who's Johnny? Squirrel kid in a leather jacket. He's a pusher. Don't entirely know what his deal with the bite is, but he he. But they're chummy. What sort of stuff does Johnny push? Why would he why would he help? Might take some convincing, but he's chill. I've seen him help people cut the line. His clients, I think. What do you know about the bite? Owners of Bloodworth. Lots of rumors floating around the whole ordeal. Bloodworth? The Bear family? What kind of rumors? Oh, all kinds of bullshit. How she's got an ape for a lover, or that she was the one who got all the other skills she so she could take over. Anything that holds water? People say she's taking back the whole operation piece by piece, starting with a bite. What sort of stuff does Johnny sell? Your typical, like, hype and shider fang. Oh, get this. He started rolling out something called Monkey Butt. Who comes up with these names? It's like they don't want you to do drugs. <laughs> <coughs> Monkey Butt. Yeah, Ward is, Ward is this new thing's a shit. Though perhaps a bit less figuratively than one might wish. Stinky thing. Does it kind of have a herbal stink? I have no first-hand experience, but I guess that could be a more delicate way to put it. Alright, that should be enough to get me into the bite. Thanks, man. Got it, Howard. A welcome distraction, really. See you soon? Sure, Larry. Thank you. I'll see ya. Larry seems like a nice guy. A bit down on his luck, but a nice guy nonetheless. in the intercom. Not surprised. Let's see a drugstore. Entering crash mode. Stand up again. I see. It's, I know where to go. Oh, I talked to him. Ah, uh, Howard, come over here, boy. You may have taken me for someone else, sir. Uh, hi, Downey. Hey, I, I'm in a hurry. Can we talk later? What? You don't have anything to do? Or did you find a job? Yes. I have my own PI agency, Downey. What the hell? Yes, I do have a job. Really? Just talked to Edna yesterday. She didn't tell me anything. What is it that you do? To yourself, geese. Do you see any on the street? No, I'm a professional. <laughs> no. <laughs> nice. I'm a detective, Downey. You know that. Uh, none of your business. I gotta go say hi to Aunt Lydia. Blah, blah, blah. If only you'd cut the bullshit and come onto the force. You know I can arrange all that. 
Horrid. Jeez. Thanks for looking out for me, man, but I'm fine. Listen, I don't appreciate you getting into my business. Yeah, yeah. You go now. Call your mom. I will. Bye. Okay, so we're not in trouble, trouble, but... Uh, it seems like he just doesn't want to deal with this guy. Quick Omar. Old owner is still trend tending to the shop. I should say hi before he gets driven out by Yumi Mart. Maybe next time. Quick Omart. Mackenzie and Sons, LTD. Holy crap, more Mackenzie's. Rich people clothes. One sock is more expensive than my whole outfit. Foxy Burger. Could use a Foxy Burger. Once I get pun once I got punched by a guy in a fedora, who then puked all over my new coat. Ah, the memories of this place brings. I can't say those are good memories. What's in the garbage bin? Let's see socks, take away bags, six. Aha! Take it to the bite. Thanks, trash bin. Oh, we actually got a ticket? Buy tickets. I'm sorry, we just got an entry ticket. Wonder if I can use to get in. Got it? Okay. It's a little worn. Good to see you, friend. Fancy some fresh news? Sure, shoot. Maybe later. But thanks, bye. Ah, uh, sure, shoot. For a half loon, you can read them all with your own eyeballs. Alright, there you go. What's the headline today? Front page today, Great A Parade preparations underway. Celebration starts Friday. Thanks, man. I'll see you later. See you around. Um, uh, you know, let's just get friendly with this guy. How's business? Well, you tell me. People want their damn news for free, and damn hawkers don't help any. Why does it bother you so much? Hawkers. You know, peddlers. They haul their rickety improvised stands around and collect all the profits with nary a permit. Police boots right there. Tried reporting them before. By the time by the time an officer gets here, the hawkers are smoke. Fast tiny legs. Why does it bother you so much? Well, hawkers don't worry don't worry about bills or allowance, you see? So they can afford to sell cheap, undercut honest businessmen businessmen like myself. Criminals. Gotcha. I better go then. I'll bet my tail that damn rodent with the seeds will be arriving any minute now. Uh, let's see. Maybe an entitled prick. Yeah, I don't think he's entitled. Uh, let's not stick around here for too long. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see, nothing on this side. All right. We'll go ahead and go ahead and find uh. The leather, ju leather dude again. Pretty sure I know where he is. I could use a ticket to try to get in there, but I don't think that's going to work too well. Okay. Here he is. Let's talk to this guy. Are you Johnny? Who's asking? Ah, uh, yeah. Name's Wallace. Howard Loader, pleased to meet you. You're Johnny, right? Fitting name for a grown ass dude in a trench coat. What do you need? Got any shatter fang? Heard you heard you got monkey butt. <laughs> they don't we don't need either. I need to get into the bite. I bet you do, pal, but why should I care? Here they sell monkey butt through you. Listen, I heard it's a place to to go for the good shit. I'm a detective. My target's inside the club. Hmm should we reveal that we're a detective? That's a good question. Uh, let's see. Let's go with number two. Maybe Skets get in there sneakily. Oh, you mean like that new school jazz or the great upholstery? Cut the crap. I know they, I know they deal monkey butt in there. Yeah, I think you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, right. Get out of your old fart. Kid, I know I'm being a bore. I need your help. Please, would you lend a hand? Just help me with a big guy up front. That's all I'm asking. Hank doesn't let any old chump in, for good reason. Say I make you simpatico. What does Johnny get in return? Johnny gets to not be introduced to the cops. 
Just have one for the <laughs> civic duty. Uh, civic duty won't help. Okay, fine. I'm a detective. My mark's in the bite. P.I. isn't a bad guy. You have to owe... You have owing you a favor. You shitting me? Prove it, punk. I might consider not turning you to the cops if you help me. You feel me? Look at me. I'm a recruit in a trench coat. Do you think I'd ask you if I wasn't serious? Now scram. You have to trust me, John. Okay, I don't think this third one's gonna work. Scratch my back, scratch yours. Ever heard of that? I might consider you might consider not turning you to the cops if you help me. You feel me? The fuck? You really trying to threaten me? It's not a threat. More like encouragement. See that police dog down the street? That's Downey, my friend. And I bet he'd love to sniff your pockets. You feel me? Might be, or not. Look at me and decide for yourself. Fuck you, I'll get you in. But only if you overdose and get me... But only, but only so you overdose and get eaten alive by feral geese. <laughs> Meet me at the entrance, fool. After you. Probably the rough way to get in. Not, I don't want to get too friendly with this guy. Though, it probably wouldn't hurt to have connections, now that I think about it. Alright, let's run a bit. Should we talk to Johnny? Should we talk to the bouncer? Talk to the bouncer, alright. What do you want? Here's Johnny! <laughs> hey, Johnny. Another client forced to entertain? Striper, you can come in. Don't cause any trouble. Thanks. Jazz, alcohol, beautiful canine ladies. All a little too high end for my taste. Oh, who's this guy? Renee. Well, you're unusual. Sorry. Not unlike that greeting. I'll take that as a compliment. As you will. Though it wasn't a it was just an observation. Renee Wilson, Howard Loader. Hmm. Can we trust this guy? Wallace, nice to meet you. <laughs> That's a fake name. You're too young for to for Wallace. <laughs> too young for Wallace. What the heck are you talking about? Calling it. That's a line. You would have said that no matter what name I gave. It's my grandfather's name. Well, I'm Wallace tonight. <laughs> You're quick. You're a wit. Guess that makes us even. Take my card. Investigative journalist. It's a living. Usually. It was not. It was lovely to meet you, Renee Wilson. I'll see you around. Have you seen an otter gentleman here tonight? He might be able to help, actually. Let's see what he has to say. No, but I only sat down a minute ago. Got it. It was lovely. It was lovely to meet you, Renee. No, <laughs> I don't want another card. Colby, Audrey, nice cat on the, over there. <clears throat> hey there, hey there. You here for Eden uh, Simmons' show too? I'm happy to see her alive finally. I haven't heard of her before. Has a nice sound though. Not quite. I'm actually here running a sort of errand. Sorry, I'm looking for a friend. Have you seen an, an otter gentleman? Here's his photo. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. But I wasn't paying close attention. I couldn't be sure. Oh well. Did you say Ed and Simmons is playing? Yeah, I don't really care about her too much. Alright, I'm in PI working No no, okay, we don't need to we don't need to push this. Just enjoy it so. Enjoy the show. How about you? Know anything? Isn't this too dreamy? Well, you sure are. God, I love this music. Wanna dance with me? I'm looking at a friend. <laughs> uh, sure, why not? She looks like a looker. <laughs> Sorry, no. At least Apple answer a couple questions for me. Not really. Leave me alone, okay? Sorry to bother you. Have a pleasant evening. 
crap, I'm just hitting all the wrong notes today. <laughs> well, hello there, honey. To what do I owe the pleasure? Just looking for a friend. Just curious, do you work here? Looking for a friend. Sweetheart, I got plenty of friends already. No, I mean, he's an otter, my kind of build. Uh, I mean someone I know. They wear square-shaped glasses. Otter. Let's ask for an otter. Sorry, sugar. No otters in here tonight. Well then, I guess he's late. Sure, wearing a pair of square-shaped glasses. Sorry, honey. Haven't seen your friend. Well, thanks for the help, Ingrid. Better get going. No leads here. How about you, Clarissa? You look a little lost. It's that obvious? It's exactly where I need to be. How confident. I don't recognize you. Not a troublemaker, are we? Do I look like a troublemaker to you? <laughs> nope, just trying something new for a change. Say I was. I'd have Hank show you the door. Troublemakers are bad for business, usually. Oh, this is the person running the joint. Drat. I'll have to put off the troublemaking. At least until it stops raining. I'm on, my, I'm on best behavior, promise. Somehow, I'm not reassured. I'm a raccoon in a trench coat. Does I really say troublemaker to you? Sound logic, if somewhat strange. And how should I address you, Mr. Raccoon? Howard Loader, private instead. I probably shouldn't do that. I'm Wallace. Nice to meet you. Pleasure is mine. And what do you do for a living, Wallace? I work at a publishing house. Do you read much? Nothing much. Gigs here, there, whatever pays. Hmm. Well, we do photography, so I guess I wouldn't be out. We don't have anything regarding P.I. Photographer. Let's say photographer. Creative. I like. My turn, then. I'm Clarissa Bloodworth. I own the bite. Oh. Well, I mean to say you've got a very cozy place here. If I've known, I'd be more mindful of my manners. I've definitely heard that name before. Nice to finally meet you, Mrs. Bloodworth. It's Miss Bloodworth. Miss Bloodworth. I must admit, you've got a great ambience here. Of course, excuse my manners. So it's just difficult to believe you're not married. <laughs> uh, if I was trying to uh, hit on her, maybe this would be the one I'd go for, but it's really difficult to figure out what option to go for. Uh, Miss Bloodworth, I must admit you've got a great ambience here. I do like the ambience. <clears throat> I do strive to offer a sophisticated experience here. And you excel at it. Say... What would you say really stands out here? Folks say that our chef's dishes are to die for. Otherwise, just relax and enjoy the show. Eden's voice is something else. But what brought you here in the first place? I'm looking for an otter, ge otter gentleman named Jeremy Green. Know him? I'm just here to meet a friend. I heard he also provide more exciting service. I don't really care about the drug thing. Let's go for the otter. That's what we're here for. And you were just meeting him for a quiet drink? That's our business. Yeah, we got a lot of catching up to do. Darling, I think you're lying to me. We're co-workers, we agreed to meet here, what's the problem? Now it's your prerogative, I guess. Mr. Wallace, if that's your real name, playing coy clearly doesn't suit you. And certainly not appropriate for my establishment. I suggest you take your business elsewhere. I lost your man. Okay, I'd rather stay. Oh, I must insist. Or should I ask Hank instead to insist instead? He can be oh so persuasive when he's angry. No need. I'm blowing this joint. Crap. Thank you. Perhaps me and the real you will see each other some again, again sometime. Crap. I think I screwed up here. Yeesh. It's very tough. All right. What do we have for objectives? Because I. Really, really screwed up now. Find a way back inside. Do 
Well, let's hit up our friend here, because we have no other way in. I got kicked out. Oh, Howard, how'd you manage that? Doesn't matter. They use the back door for deliveries, right? I think I poked the bear. The bouncer? I'm at Clarissa. Oh, man, what did you do? If she's upset, you better get used to watching your back. And find another way in. Now hold up. You said you didn't get in, into cases like this anymore. And you told me you had no first-hand experience with monkey butt. People don't change, Larry. Doesn't matter, I need to get in. I need to. Larry, what if it's the case? Something is wrong, I need to find out. People don't change. Mm. Look, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have brought it up. No, you're right. Probably reek of the stuff, too. Listen, I'm no one to judge. I'm just trying to explain. Don't explain things to me, Howard. I'm happy to help. But this is where we draw the line. I hear you. How do I get back in? All right, all right. The truck over there just arrived, and some fellows entered through the back door. I also heard voices coming from the roof, so they must have a door up there. Tell me about the back door. Uh, tell me about the door in the rooftop. They have a little intercom box. You ring, they pick up. And if you're someone they're expecting, they buzz you in. Any clue on how I could become someone they're expecting? No idea. Maybe they use some sort of code? You're a detective. You're the detective, not me. Uh, tell me about the roof. Well, most of these old buildings have one. Problem is, how are you going to get on the roof? Bribe security, fire escape, give me a lift. Maybe I could climb it from here. When did you learn to fly? Are there any smaller structures you could climb up first? The press stand. Whoa there, that could work. Start with the press stand, go to McKinsey, and proceed along the roofs. But you should know that Bo is kind of, um... A dick nugget? That's the most accurate description of Bo I've ever heard in my life. Is he, though? He seems kind of neutral to me. Well, isn't... Who isn't a bit of dick nugget nowadays? I'm gonna say that. <laughs> I'm not. Anyway, I suggest talking to him see if he'd be up for it. Mmm, alright. Got two options. Either through the back door... Or... Truck. Break in. Delivery truck. Leave. Let's see what's going on over here. What are you looking at? Why are you here? Just out for a smoke? Why do you care? You're not holding a cigarette. Are you right? You can look kind of out of it. Just need to get in the building there. Gas container building. <laughs> Is that right now? Was that funny? I don't believe you. I know what you're trying to do. Well, I'm not moving until you let me see. Marosi. I think you confused me with someone else. Let me introduce myself. Private Howard Loader. Nice meeting you. Detective? I don't understand. Uh, maybe we can help each other out. Quick question. Did you see someone go through the door? Um, two guys. Cider truck drivers. Why? You find a way in the building. Can you help me? Maybe. I mean, not really. Try the code at the door, but damn filthy slugs won't let me in. I just want to talk to her. Who are you trying to talk to? It's my daughter. She's in that filthy... And I've been coming for days, but they say... They won't let me talk to her. I'm her mother, damn it. What's she doing in there? Kid decides she wants to make it all on her own. Lands herself in a whorehouse. Stupid. Oh, they're drugging her, I know it. They won't let her see her own mother. My poor baby. Keep an eye out for her if I get in. What does she look like? Gray fur. Name's Rosie. No, name's Rose. Drives, drives her nuts when I call her Rosie. Just turned 20, you see. Didn't want to be a kid anymore. Oh, if they heard a single whisker in my baby's face, I swear I'm going to burn this ditch to the ground. 
Uh, are you sure she's still there? She's my baby. I know where she is. I can sense it. Let's see. Well, I don't want to make any promises to this person. When did you last see her? Two, three weeks ago, we had a fight. So she's been visiting the bite before? Told me she was a waitress in. Liar. I asked around. This dish... This... The lich? The lich? A filthy drug den of whores. Fucking liar. So you thought about her job at the bite, and that was the last time you saw her? What about it? Nothing. I'll do my best to find her. Alright. See, you said code to intercom. I memorized it word for word. Great fire, damn me. I'll look at the wrong schedule. Let me in. Do you know of another way in? No, I've heard voices up the roof, but how, how'd you get there? Alright. Please, if you see my daughter, tell her I need her. Let's see if we can break into this truck. There might be something here. The interior is rusted with cardboard boxes and smells like rust. There is a weird looking recorder devi recording device on a dashboard. The compartment seems to be unlocked. You open the compartment and find a couple of newspapers and documents that look like invoices or checks. I uh, don't really care about the newspapers, let's look at the invoices. They all mention a company called Starling Cider Limited purchasing unnamed goods from Bite Foods LLC. The most recent purchase is supposed to be happening today. Guess we'll check the newspapers. Two newspapers for September and October. They don't look like anyone was reading through them. Epidemic continues. Geese may be spreading disease. Oh, jeez. Fish's wall attack. Leaves three defenders wounded, one dead. Ah. <laughs> okay, well, uh, try using the device. It's a voice recording device hardwired to a truck dashboard, probably set for surveillance. You might be able to print out the recordings if you enter the correct dates. Selected dates from these. Uh, expecting two hours to go, continue being an ass, and I'll leave, okay. Five packages ready for pickup, three is all I can fit in the truck. <coughs> Four hours late. Nothing too interesting, to be honest. Mm. Let's try sneaking in through the rooftops. The door is right there. We have a code, but it might be onto us. <laughs> hmm, okay. Let's see if uh, we can get on the rooftop. That might be for the best here. Back so soon. What now? No, don't mind me. Just need to climb the stand. Hey, Bo, I was hoping you could help me out. I don't know. I'm quite busy. Won't take a minute. I just need to climb the stand. Absolutely not. Do you know how much time and effort it takes to keep the stand in good condition? Come on, Bo. I need this for work. Uh... Promise to pay for any damages. I need this for work. Let's not kid ourselves. We both know you're broke as a goose. <laughs> what if I could offer you something else as collateral? PI skills, for example. Now that you mention it, maybe you could help me with a little issue I've been having. I'm almost afraid to ask, but what do you have in mind? I need the pick a hawker. The one with the seeds. Off Granville. Can you do that? Pick a hawker. I uh, don't want to. Fine. We'll go talk to him at least. Pick a hawker. Not yet. Pick a hawker. What pick a hawker? Oh, this guy. Feeling peckish? You got sweet, savory, you can mix and match, make your own trail mix. How about it? Mmm, let's see. 
Yeah, you got any unshelled pumpkin seeds? Of course. Got salted and not salted. Each bag is worth a half loon. But I'll give you three for a loon. It's a steal. Okay, I'll take one. A strange favor ask. Uh, okay. Could you leave Granville, at least for tonight? Yeah, well, do you have a seller's permit? Uh, I'd rather not. Thing is, Granville's a great sales spot for this time of night. Bo refuses to help me out otherwise, please. Well, do you have a seller's permit? Why do you want to know? You're not a cop. Look, Bo's been asking about you to anyone who'll listen. Allowance evasion's a pretty serious crime. Why are you doing this? I'm just trying to make a living here. I'm not hurting anyone. Sorry, kid, I'm trying to make a living too. Bo says you're hurting the press stand sales plenty. What does old Stash gotta do with anything? It's not your business, now move on. Whatever, man. I hope you fall off a flight of stairs or something. Okay, probably not the best way to deal with that, but I have no idea how else to deal with it otherwise. Well, what happened? I scared him off. I don't think he'll be back for a while. How'd you do it? Friend and cops asked, just asked him to help. He agreed he's a good kid. Agreed. It was mostly like, he was most likely lying, you know? And we'll be back tomorrow. And that's not what I wanted. You're useless. Get him off Granville, I did as you asked. So you gotta go back in the deal? And how you peg me for the honest type? Oh, go on, do whatever you want. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Okay, I guess we're climbing. Lots of stuff to climb. Now that one is so hard. I'm the king of the world. Take it, Foxy Burger. I do be loving the skyline, though. Quite nice. <laughs> oh, that's a view. Isn't it? Alright, now how do we get through here? Definitely got some chops. Wish I could just stay here. If only pigeons could accept me as one of their own. <laughs> yeah, watch those drops, dude. Green bastard, you better be there. Going through a lot for one case. Probably w wouldn't do this otherwise. Must be the bite's second floor. Maybe I'll find something useful to lead me to green. What's this? Mirror table. A note. Some honey for you for your tea. Mom swears by it. Greg. Taking time off, Raj. Give me a call. Miss you. Darling, could you give me a minute? More Margaret Moore. Candy, what's this? Birthday card. Anything on this side? Doesn't seem to be anything else here. Parsley brew, also known as anti baby potion. Yep, but it's definitely a brothel. Brothel. Anti baby. No idea what that means. Control to crouch. Enemies can't hear. Okay. Maybe crouching would be... Green must be one of these rooms. I have to be careful not to get caught. Uh, fail. Don't get caught next time. <laughs> Wait, how am I supposed to... Well, that didn't do anything. Mm. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I get it, I get it, I get it. 
Hide behind here. Hide behind here. All right, sneak in a bit. Ooh la la, something's going on over here. Not that weak here. No axe yet, but ooh la la. Regardless. Shit, I missed him. He must have been here. I can smell the monkey butt. Maybe he left something behind that could help Odette. Green tie is stuck behind the frame. What if I budged it? What the? A secret lift? And green went in there? I wonder what's on the other side. Let's grab the green hat. It's green screen hat. Must be monkey butt. To be honest, I imagine something nastier than herbs. Oh boy, it stinks. Night statue, guys say. Might as well take a shot. Get in there and press a button, find the guy, and maybe something more exciting. The club is definitely hiding something. <clears throat> uh, lift. Anything else in here? Open the door. Where are we? A freezer. Green wine and ice cream? Greg, if you're gonna swipe stuff for the girls, you need to make a note of, or you or you mess up the inventory. <laughs> Someone's been swiping stuff. So, honey, <laughs> intercom. It's an intercom connected to other room in the building. It's a list of extensions. Uh, probably shouldn't press anything. Close, but the hatch is wide open. Come on. Mm, there's nothing on this side. Okay, maybe let's dial the kitchen. Kitchen, listening. You suck. How are you doing? Want to order large pizza? Pineapple on top. <laughs> Pineapple on a pizza? Are you crazy? Wait, don't go anywhere. I think someone's coming. Ah, crap. Don't get caught next time. Let's hide over here. Maybe someone will open the door. tell if anything's happening. See the intercom. Dial freezer, but we're in the freezer. <laughs> uh, dial packaging. Nobody picks up. Dial the bar. Boy speaking. Hey, boy. Greg, are you stuck in the freezer again? Uh, yes. For apes' sake, call the kitchen. Someone will get you. All right. Style kitchen. It's Greg stuck in the freezer again. Fucking hell, Greg. Hold on, I'm coming. I think someone's coming. Ah, oh, crap. Is there another way out? Someone might be headed here, or could I just reset? Dial kitchen, Greg, all right. Let's go. Maybe I should be hiding on, on this side. Ah, crap. 
The thing is, if I I don't have a place I can hide, so where could I go? Okay, let's try the lift because I controls are stuck, can't go back out. Okay, so how do I? Have them see us, we go open the door right afterwards. Can't go back off the lift. Uh, how am I supposed to deal with this? Maybe we hide this way? Someone's supposed to be dropping by. I have no idea what's going on. Open the door. Mm. Yeah, I don't know how to get past this part. This is a this is confusing. Maybe I dash dash through. Ah, crap. Let's see, inventory. Do I have anything in my inventory I can use? Buy ticket. Can't use any of this stuff. Probably bum rush through this guy. Ah, okay. I think running will work. That yeah, maybe running will work. See if I can run through this guy. Ah, crap. Can I jump? Open door. Can't go back up. How am I supposed to go through here? Is there anything else I can pick up here? I'm quite confused. That didn't work too well. Ah! I see. Holy crap. Two cooks ahead. I can't get caught now. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I see. I see how this works. We're behind a counter. Okay. Uh, maybe 
Maybe we can... Who's going to go for it? Okay, I see, I see. I can, I can sneak behind this guy. Or maybe not. Okay. Do that, and then quickly, then this one also, get the second one over here, crap, is that just not fast enough? We can't go sneak behind him. Do, 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 do. Okay. We do need to be fast enough, though. Come on. You deal with that one. Maybe he's the one that's going to get the intercom. I see, I see, I see. All right, I need to back, 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 back. Okay. I think I know how this part works. It's a little bit difficult, though. Style kitchen, freezer, duck, get out of here. You deal with this one. I go zoom zoom. And we are all good. Finally. <laughs> locker room. Spec locker. Family favorite, Apes Delight. Very nice. Uh, Gregory, could you maybe keep your papers on your locker? <laughs> you. Poop. Okay, uh, train map, a family picture, very nice, nothing here, cards, tickets, square circles, uh, might be code, no idea what this is, hold on, citizen, maybe this goes here, these definitely go on something, I just don't know what. Does this go anywhere? This go probably here. Ava one. I think that goes over here. This so this either goes on here or here. It probably goes on this card. So five diamond. Six four one. But if we overlay this, we just want the four circle. Ah, okay, okay. Sir so circle is four. Diamond over here is five. Not sure what this one's referring to. Seems like square is zero. So zero five zero five This is probably triangle. So zero five zero four zero four five one zero four five one Sounds good to me. Lift needs a turnkey. Code lock. Zero, 
four, five, one. Nice. Can't see crap, Captain. Very dark, very creepy. Not sure where this place is, but it's like a storage room. Oh my fucking what? Oh, they took his. Is he dead? Is this meat? <laughs> Green's dead. What have you gotten yourself into? Somebody's coming. Quick, I have to hide. There we go. Looks like these are our dead people here. Are we serving meat? This kind of meat to people? Greg here. No, I'm still working on a cut. Ah, okay, coming. Man. I don't think I saw any particular carnivores. Sorry, Jess. Even you don't deserve this. Nobody does. What's this over here? The turnkey. Maybe he'll take me out alive. Maybe I'll make it out alive. Let's see what's this? Packages. What's in the packages? Delivery order, by Food LLC to Cider Limited. Seems like we have other animals being eaten. Not sure what's the red stuff over there, but it's definitely not good. going on here escape we could escape or let's investigate a little bit more before we try and okay there's nothing here all right let's get out <clears throat> this gives me the creeps ah puking after what we saw I see I wonder that's where the demo ends And now for the real mystery. What is going on with the bite? What is going on in this town? Find out next time. In Backbone. Developed by Eggnut. Thank you for playing Backbone Demo Prologue. Its contents are going to be evolving until full game release. Very nice people, very nice. Quite enjoyed what I had so far. A little bit confusing on the kitchen portion. Um, but yeah, quite interesting. Quite interesting. If I had to say anything about this game, I don't know if there was any other way I could have done some of the choices differently. Definitely, it feels open-ended. There's really no indication what the best course of action is for going through the story, whether or not it's actually, it actually makes a difference uh, how you interact with other characters. But as far as I can tell, this is going to be very good. Very story heavy, very heavily decision based. Yep. Yep. Not much, is that, not much else I can comment on besides that. So, if you guys are up for a mystery story, 
uh, some point in the future. Let me know. I would definitely would like to stream this and get your guys' reactions on this one. It looks promising. Very promising right now. All right. I guess uh, we'll just wait for the credits. There is no music or anything else going on here. I really cranked up all the music as much as high as I could, but I think there's just really not much going on as far as that's concerned. Quite a few backers, though. Quite a few names to go through. Lots of S's. Lots of C's. But S's and T's seem to be quite numerous. Tim Zellis. Zellis. Lots of backers for this project, and uh, I do hope this goes very well. It's got a promising premise to it. Looks like a normal bar. Could be a whorehouse. And it is partly a whorehouse. Holy God, we got a sexy time there. <laughs> gotta figure out which part I want to do for a thumbnail, too. I think I have an idea. I think I have an idea. All right. See you guys next time.